All right. Hey guys, so welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk about the shell method, which you guys are probably going to cover on Friday. Um, so here's how it works. Let's say that we have this region in blue bounded by the graph of f of x. Let's say I wanted to find the volume of the shape um, that you get when you rotate that blue region around the y-axis. Right, so we're going to come around like this. Right, and so when you go around, what you're going to get is you're going to get something that looks like a bunt cake. Um, so since you have something that looks like a bunt cake, it's basically going to be like, um, there's going to be a cake with a hole in the middle, but the slides slope in like this. So that, that being said, that means you can't use the disc or the washer method, um, because your cross sections aren't going to work out nicely. So what we do instead is we're going to use the shell method. So the shell, the shell method says, all right, so let's say I have this cake, the hole in the middle, I'm going to punch a hole um using like some type of like hollow tube so let's say this is my hollow tube i'm gonna punch a hole starting with a hole but i'm gonna make this tube slightly wider wider and wider um and so when i keep doing that what i'm gonna get is i'm gonna get a bunch of cylinders right and so since we're doing volume basically what i can do is if i take the area of all of those cylinders and add them all together i'm gonna get the total volume right so Another way that we can visualize this is, okay, well, let's say I had like just like this piece of the graph, right? This piece of the graph, well, what I can tell you is um, this distance is going to be x, and then this height is going to be f of x, right? So let's say I take just this blue or this um, blue line, and I take that and just rotate that around the y-axis, well, what do I get? I get a cylinder. Right, so what I'm going to get is I'm going to get something that looks like this, okay. It's going to be a cylinder. And so now what I need to consider is, okay, well, how do I take the area of the cylinder? Well, it's just a cylinder, right? There's no, there's nothing inside. So like you guys can see, let's say I have this like paper tube, right? It's hollow. Right, so there's nothing inside, there's no volume, there's only area. So what I can do to find the area of this is, okay, well, let's say I unroll, um, if I unroll my paper tube, what I get is a rectangle, right? Well, now what are the dimensions of the rectangle? Right, so this is gonna become a rectangle. So what are my sides then? Well, from this cylinder, I can tell you, I can see that if I'm just moving this line all the way across, the height is going to be f of x, right? Well, now what about what's going to be, so if this height is f of x, that means on my rectangle, this, this side over here corresponds to this side over here, right? So this side is also going to be f of x. Okay, well now what about this side up here? Well, let's go back to my cylinder. If I rotate this, right, and I rotate all, this whole thing around, what I'm going to get? I'm going to get um, this circle. But what is a circle? Um, the length, the perimeter, I guess, of the circle is the circumference. And the circumference of the circle is given by um, pi times the diameter, right? Well, what's the diameter? Well. I know that from here to I know that from here to here that's x. So what I know is in the center of my circle, right here to here, this is going to be x. So I know that my radius is x. The diameter is twice the radius. So what I'm going to get here is two x times pi, right? So that's going to be the circumference of the circle. But that means this is going to be the length of this top side. Right? Okay, well, what's the area of a rectangle? The area of a rectangle is length times width. Um, so the area of the rectangle is going to be 2x pi times f of x. Right? And since I'm doing volume, I need, um, I'm going to need a definite integral. So let's say I'm going to take, let's say this is the region given by, we'll call this a, even though it's probably zero, we'll call this b. Right, so I need to take infinitely many cylindrical shells from A to B, right? So what does that mean? That's gonna be a definite integral, 
right, from A to B times um, my area of all of these cylinders or the cylindrical shells. So that's going to be times 2x pi s of x, where I have loss of dx, right? And so this is how we kind of use the shell method, and this is kind of like the ge geometry behind it. So, yeah. Anyways, I hope that was helpful to you guys. This is just like a brief intro to what you guys are going to be touching on soon. But yeah, hope you learned something. Thank you for watching.